magic trick is sometimes the quickest route to impressing people. But what the audience doesn't realize is that it's not always trickery that works. Sometimes, presenting a unique story is also as important as the trick itself. So, be it the famous duo performing some amazing mind tricks, or Will Sai's Magical Coin Teleportation Act. Hello and welcome back, and today, we're gonna figure out the secrets behind some of Got Talent's most famous magic tricks. So, let's get started. The first trick, the coin teleportation trick. In one of the episodes of America's Got Talent, Will Sai, the Taiwanese magician, stunned the audience with a brilliant magic performance. Simon Cowell even acknowledged it as the best magic trick ever on the show. The act consisted of close-up magic with four cards and coins, but they weren't any ordinary coins. He would wave his hands and his cards over a set of four coins on the table as they seemed to move around by themselves and would disappear, appear, and teleport from one place to another. He finishes off the act by magically transforming the four coins into rose petals. So how on earth does he do it so swiftly? Well, here's the secret. Credit to the magician, there wasn't any kind of high-tech gadgets or any stooges involved, and it was a pure play on-stage magic. Instead, the secret of the trick is in the board that Will uses. Yes, Will's table has a few gimmicks involved underneath. The table might look rather slim, but it has enough space for some swift-moving props that can create the illusion of coins disappearing and reappearing back on his say. Let's break the trick down into three parts. The first part, where the coins move under the cards and sometimes without cards. The second part, where he makes the cards to disappear, and in the final part of the trick, he turns all the coins into rose petals. For the first part, if you notice, the four coins moved back and forth from the exact same position on the table throughout the trick. And it wasn't an ordinary table. The black board on the table has quite some depth, and its real thickness was masked by the ivy plant. It is a gimmick that contains a mechanism consisting of rods, which can put the coin to the top of the board or make it disappear to the inside of the board. But still, how did he move the coins, you say? Well, it's with the use of his right foot, which stayed behind the pot. Inside the pot, there is a foot pedal connected with cables to move the rods under the table. So to move the coins, Will uses three rods hidden under the tabletop. The rods are controlled by the cables masked by the ivy plant. Here's how the mechanism works. The setup consists of six holes on the tabletop. Each hole is filled either with the coins or the black fabric of the tabletop. Also, each rod under the hole is magnetic and can hold two elements, a coin and the fabric, at both ends. At any moment, either the coin or the fabric is faced up invisible. The other element appears only when the rod is turned 180 degrees. So, when you see a coin teleport from one place to another, you're actually watching two different coins at two different locations. First, one of the coins disappears into the board. At the exact same time, a second coin at a different location appears on the surface from inside of the board. This happens so fast that it looks like it's just one coin being teleported from one place to the other. And as we discussed before, using the hidden cables, Will can control any rod he wants using the foot pedal. Be it turning all three rods at once, two at a time, or one at a time. So, after the rod is turned, we get this amazing illusion that the coin has magically moved. Coming to the part where he used cards to pick the coins under them, here, the cards were used only to mislead us into believing it was an ordinary coin matrix act. Here as well, he used the foot pedal mechanism to control the movement of the coins underneath. To make the cards disappear, he just had to dump them in between his body and the table using a retractable mechanism placed behind the table to hold those cards. Finally, the part where he turns the coins into rose petals. Now here, a different setup was used with four more holes and four rods installed near the center of the table. Similar to the principle used in the first part, the only difference is that, in addition to turning a rod to show the black fabric side, a piece of folded rose petal is also pushed to the surface of the table during the rod movement. Also, each rod had a hole-sized cup mounted below the table, which kept the rose petal folded underneath. The rod goes between the cup and the tabletop, which helps in the smoother movement. 
So, when the rod turns, the pedal expands as soon as it leaves the container cup to end this amazing illusion. The second trick, the magical box trick. The real-life Hermione, Issy Simpson, has got a lot of skills for her age. In her audition act on Britain's Got Talent, she takes out three books from a box and asks the judges to check the books. She then asks Simon to move the box, but shockingly, he was unable to do so. However, Issy pulls out a deck of cards and easily places the box on the floor. She then asks Simon to pick any random card and Alicia to pick a random word from the book. Finally, she reveals the word kettle that Alicia picked already written on the chalkboard all this while, and then removes her jacket to reveal a t-shirt having a picture of Simon holding his chosen card. So, how did she do this trick? Well, before revealing the secret, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get instant notifications of our new video uploads. Now, let's quickly get to the secret. Well, coming to the part related to the box, how come Simon and David both combined together were not able to lift the empty box? Now, some of you think that the box has some sort of suction device placed at its bottom which holds tightly onto the table. Well, that's not the case here. The box is a gimmick and each of its sides has thin electromagnetic plates on its inside and covered by a cardboard on the outside which appears just like any regular box. Also, this is the reason why the box doesn't shrink even slightly when the judges hold it firmly. The electromagnet is controlled by Issy and turns off when she is about to lift it. Coming to the card force, apart from the few different cards at the top and the bottom, all the cards at the center are the four of diamonds. So she first shows Simon the few cards which are different and then turns the cards face down. Using a block push, she then forces a card out somewhere in the middle to Simon. Finally, the chalkboard is also a gimmick and is a self-writing digital board which communicates using a tablet or smartphone. So after Alicia names the word kettle, someone from the audience writes the word onto the communicating device which is then self-written onto the board to create this amazing illusion. So finally, moving on to the last magic trick on our list, the jelly bean trick. The famous magician duo The Clairvoyants are known for their amazing mind-reading tricks. In one such act on America's Got Talent, Emily stands with her back turned on the stage as a chalkboard was hoisted into the air. Then Emily correctly guesses which jelly beans Simon and then Heidi picked from a basket. Next, Mel B scoops up a random number of beans into a glass. At that time, Howie names his dream flavor of jelly beans. To everyone's amazement, Emily correctly predicts the number of beans in Mel B's cup 22 jelly beans inside this glass before she actually counts them. Finally, the chalkboard is lowered which reveals the exact same written predictions that Emily had predicted. So, how did they do it? Well, let's figure out the secret. The first part was where Emily correctly predicts the color and flavor of Heidi's and Simon's jelly bean was communicated to her using the background screen. Many magicians prefer using Morse code to transmit data, but here, the fact that she wasn't blindfolded and only a few color codes and a number were required to be transmitted, the background screen method worked well. If you notice, the background was a huge computer monitor, so it was easy for her assistant to present her the required information in the form of some specific color or text in certain part of the screen which only she could see and understand. Also, she would readily know when and where exactly on the screen she had to look for the data. In the next part, how did she know that Mel B put 22 jelly beans into the glass? Not even Mel B knew the exact number. This part of the trick also relies on the use of technology. The trick here, however, lies not in any data transmission method, but in the basket itself. Yes, the basket which holds the jelly beans also functions as a weighing scale. Notice that when Mel B is done with her selection, Tommy takes the time to take the scoop out of the bowl and spreads the beans evenly to get an accurate reading. He has to do this so that the scoop doesn't get weighed along with the beans. The rest was just math. Since all the jelly beans weighed the same, it's possible to calculate exactly how many of them left the bowl. So, using the transmitter fitted inside the bowl, the assistant at the backstage read the weight from the device before and after Mel B's selection and sent the calculated result to Amelie on the big screen. Finally, how did the pre-written writing on the board correctly reveal everything predicted in the past? 
Well, for this part, we need to look at this comparison image before the board was raised and after the writings were revealed. If you notice, the board looks different before and after the prediction. Look at the letter E and the chalk dust pattern. The dust patterns are visibly different. Also, the corner of the letter E was horizontal and vertical lines crossed, which is missing in the right side image, which is after the prediction. So it confirms that it was a different board altogether. One of the assistants wrote down all the predictions backstage on a new board and then installed it behind the red curtain. Also, it was a pull-down curtain installed sideways within a metal frame and was rolled up in the backstage. To make sure no one sees it, the curtain was thin enough to be concealed behind the support beams of the board stand. When on stage, the assistants replaced the old curtain roller with the new one, which perfectly fits in place to reveal the famous prediction. So guys, hope you got the secrets behind God Talent's most famous magic tricks. Which trick did you like the most? The teleportation coin trick, the magical box trick, or the famous prediction act? And name any other magic trick you would like us to reveal. Let us know in the comments below. Do like and share this video with your friends on social media. For more such amazing things, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And finally, thanks for watching.